In the weather theme unit, you will find 24 related weather pictures. These are great to use for discussion purposes. They could also be used for sorting. The children would sort the pictures that belong to cool and cold and the pictures that belong to warm and hot. This is a weather probability game. The children by playing the game are going to determine the likelihood of them landing more on a cool and cold weather picture or a warm and hot weather picture. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to play the game. Player one shakes the die. They have three, so they're going to count one, two, three. They have landed on a picture that will likely be warm or hot. They would take a red bingo chip representing that. Player two shakes the die. They have two, so they're going to move two spaces. They have landed on a cool and cold picture, so they'll take blue to represent that. The game will continue. At the end, they will see which one they have landed on the most. If it was a cool and cold picture, or a warm and hot picture. This would be relayed to the teacher and after she can graph the results. This is called the letter C game. This would be placed in the literacy center after the children have been introduced to the letter C and its corresponding sound. This would be done through uh, reading the reader cool clouds and also the pictures have been enlarged so the teacher can use these as a teaching base. And the song Cool Clouds on the Kinder Plans Alpha Tune CD could also be used to introduce the letter C and its corresponding sound. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to play the game. Player one shakes a die. They have shaken number five, so they would move their game player five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. They have landed on a cloud, and that, be, that begins with the letter C sound. So they would put a bingo chip on their letter game board. The first person to have their game board completed would be the winner. This is the letter U game. It would be added to the Literacy Center after the children have become familiar with the letter U and its related sound. The letter U would be printed on 18 bingo chips or you could also use a paper copy and other vowel let letters as well. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to play the game. Player one picks a bingo chip up. They have pulled the letter U. They would put this on the blank. Then using the picture as a clue, they would say the word by stretching the sound. Ha, uh, Player two would take a turn and they would use, put this on their game board. If they have not pulled the letter U, they have to place it back into the container and then it is player one's turn again. And the game continues until one player has all the letter U sounds on their game board. I hope you found these ideas helpful. This is Elaine from kinderplans.com.